Gabriel, one 0 defeat. First half, I felt you were on the front foot and much better side, and uh, just maybe lost a little bit of steam in the second half. Yeah, first of all, you know, credit to Radcliffe. It's been a tough start to the season for them, so they come and obviously get their first win. Um, I think if if you look at the league, if they're a reflection of how strong the league are, then you know it's pretty pretty strong league. So. Um, yeah, we knew coming into it they were in a false position and that you know they've got some good season players. So we're under no illusion it's going to be a tough day, but you know games that we should definitely be winning. We um, absolutely, I felt like we completely dominated the first half. Um, chances working the keeper, just not quite get that goal over the line. Um, they were clearly looking to waste time, hit us on the counter. Totally understand that, um, but from our perspective, you know we need to put one of them away. We started actually really well second half. Before, you know we started really really fast. Started really, really well, um, and then, like you rightly say, you know, we just left ourselves open, um, got caught on the counter a little bit, um, but I think it was just a desire to go and win the game. Maybe just got the better of us. And after they took the lead, uh, they had a very clear game plan there to, to frustrate you, didn't they? They, they I won't say parked the bus, but they defended a lot deeper and made it very, very difficult for you to get any way through. Yeah, the teams are going to do that. You know, credit to them. You know, I don't, I don't, um, I don't blame them for doing that. There's a way of winning games. Sometimes you've got to do that. You know. You, feel like after the first half that was exactly what they were going to do but, but again I think what it does is it highlights the problem with referees in our league you know we've um, certainly we've, we've got to be accountable for ourselves we had a number of chances first half and we have to convert um, but you know I spoke to the fourth official before the game they're going to come they're going to slow it down we're not bothered about giving us the time back we've got plenty of time we've got 90 minutes it's the momentum that they're going to kill and I think the referee starts booking people with 10 minutes to go I mean set your stall out you know, but you know, I think Radcliffe will be frustrated with the referee today as well. I think they they'll probably be feeling my pain, but just kills the momentum of the game. You know, we're obviously trying to build up a momentum, carry on with our attacks. We don't want any special dispensation from referees, but you know, people pay money to come through the gate to watch a football match. You know, not for it to be slowed down. And you know, like, again, they're going to slow it down. I don't blame them, but the referee has to know the game and be stronger. And it's the poorest we've seen this season. You know, all of the uh, all of the officials were extremely poor but it doesn't take away the, the, uh, from the fact that we have to be better you know we have to convert chances and teams are going to come here it's a, it's a compliment teams are going to come here and they're going to want to you know I suppose you know camp in and make life difficult for us and it's it's our obligation to try and break them down so I don't shirk any responsibility from that but you know, we need to be better but the referees today just you know it, it beggars belief at times yeah I, I counted two or three yellow cards for time wasting towards the end but there could have easily been a couple more yeah, if, that, if, that, that, if that happens though in the first 15 minutes yeah. you know there's it stamps that out you know supporters come here and pay good money to come through the turnstile they you know again again I, I must reiterate I do not blame teams to come here and do that you know it's a compliment to us in a way and we do have an obligation to break them down but we need a fair chance to crack at them you know what we don't want to do is have a chance then it kills the momentum they get set we've got to wait another two three minutes before the ball comes back in play you know, they just don't understand the game. They don't, again, we've had these officials here before and it's uh, it's the same old, same old. But look, like I say, we, we've, we've got to be responsible. You know, we've, we've had chances. We should have converted them. Um, we have to look at ourselves and we have to make sure that um, we're better moving forward. Now, I think positive here would be that you, it's a quick turnaround now, isn't it, till your next game. It's a bit of a horrible trip midweek to Needham Market, but a game where you can go and put this behind you and hopefully uh, get back to winning ways as quick as you can. We have to. Yeah, you know, um, we've lost too many games at home this season. It's not good enough. Good performances, you know, we were saying the same last season, but, you know, I was very clear in saying last season that we were a new group, we're building. We've only added three or four. You know, we're just, we, performances have been excellent. I thought the first half today we were superb. Maybe the first 10, 15 minutes of the, of the second half, but from then we lost, like you say, we were getting caught a little bit and maybe weary legs after two two games against Hartlepool. But when, when you've got so many corners, I think we counted over 20 corners, penalty error entries. You know, the lads have got to take responsibility. You know, we've got to start putting it in the net, and you know that's that's where you find quality. You know, the, those moments there, keeping the ball and playing to a game plan is one thing, but you know those big big moments of crossing and slides in the box and you know finishing is where where we need to be better. So yeah, it's tough. It's tough to take, and we go to Tuesday knowing that you know we need to win the game because you know the, the league is so wide open. It's crazy. You know, we're still not far from the top, and we're still not far from the bottom. It's. Uh, one win changes everything, but we can't just keep relying on everybody else. The results today, I'm hearing are all over the place again. Can't keep relying on everybody else. You know, we want to hit the ground running now. I'm not, I'm not willing to wait for the players to to wake up. Like last year, there was an absolute clear understanding of that. But this this year, we feel like we've got the group that can go and do it. Yes, we've lost players, two two massive players for, for us from last season, but it gives others an opportunity to step up. 
And it's important to stress, actually, isn't it, that you've just come off the back of a really good unbeaten run of eight. There's no reason whatsoever why you can't put this behind you and, and embark on another unbeaten run towards Christmas. Absolutely, yeah. You know, like, like I say, it's hard to criticise the performance from the first half to maybe the first 15, 20 minutes. And even at times in the second half, you know, we're huffing and puffing and we're going to get caught on the counter. You know, we've got to be patient. But, you know, the performances have been excellent, but we've got to turn them into results. You know, we've got to be more ruthless in the box. You know, we today... We just had so many chances that the game should have been put to bed by half-time. And we can say the same against Hereford, and we can say the same against Southport, we can say the same against Hartlepool away. Listen, the players have to take responsibility on that. Like, we, you know, everything's there for them. All they have to do is step up and, and, and make their quality count. Gavin, thanks very much for your time. Uh, onwards and upwards, need a market on Tuesday, and fingers crossed for a few points. Cheers.